Today's challenge is to create a timer in three minutes only using PowerPoint without any add-ons. So let's start. Bismillah. So first thing I'm going to do is insert a blank slide and the first one at the top, I'm just going to call it donut timer. Okay, so I'm going to in, go to insert, insert shape, and I'm going to choose the donut shape. If you just try to insert it like that or create the shape, it's going to go a bit funny, but what you can do is um, once you select the shape you want to draw there, you hold on to shift and control, and that will allow you to create a perfect shape, perfect shape. Right, perfect donut. So we've done the donut. What else can we do with it? Well, we can add some animations to it. So in this case, in this case, I'm gonna to go to animations, animation pane, and I'm going to choose exiting animation wheel that one there. So you can see how it goes, but I'm going to add something. I'm going to say on the trigger and the click off circle, the hollow one, this one here. So um, I'm also, so what's going to happen once I go into full slideshow, I have to click on it to trigger the animation. But as you could see, there is no animation at the end. It doesn't show it. So I need to add something to make sure it appears. There we are. And let's see how that looks. Oh, yes. Um, I need to make sure that the new animation I just added, I move it below the trigger and I select start of the previous. So once my animation runs out, let me show you. Once it finishes, it's going to show me the hollow circle or the donut shape once again. Okay, I'm going to add one more thing to this. I'm going to add another uh, another animation. I'm going to choose swivel. There we are. Okay, so that's just there to attract more attention. And I'm going to move this one at the end. And I'm going to click on the drop down menu, start after previous. There we are. But also, with this one, I'm going to add effect option and I'm going to add sound to it. So if I go down, I'm going to choose drum roll. There we are. So my two second animation, once I go into slideshow, I click on it, it goes for two seconds, then appears again and I hear the drum roll. Um, but the question is, I need this for 60 seconds, one minute. So I'm going to double click on it and type in one minute. You can increase the size of these letters so to writing as you wish. And also up here, I have to select the animation I want to last for one minute. And in here, I'm going to increase that to 60 seconds. And there we are. So my animation is ready. So the time, three minutes and 24 seconds. Not bad, I guess. So what else can we do with this one? Well, we can copy and paste one minute animation and put it next to it. And we can change the shape of it. So you go to shape format. If you want to choose a different shape, oval, for example. Um, and with this oval, you can change the, the text and the writing. And you can also you can also increase this to more than a minute because um, animations options or the anim animations in PowerPoint, they can last for one minute by default. But what you can do is go inside it, click on the animation, there, click on it. And when it shows you start and 59 seconds, what you can do is you can increase this. There we are. And you can see here, I've just increased it to, let me go to five minutes. There we are. So I basically dragged the timer five minutes. And there we are. So 
my animation is ready now. So when I go to full screen, I can click on it. It's going to slowly start uh, the countdown. And my one minute one is on the side here. You can see slowly it's showing that the time is ticking. And this is the five minute one. So what I have to do now is just change the text. But what if I want to choose and add another one next to it? You must be thinking, why would I want to do that? But well, you're going to see in a few minutes. Right, so I'm going to change this to 10 minutes. So this animation, I want it to last for 10 minutes. So same trick again, I click on the animation, the exiting one, and here, when it says end five minutes, I'm going to click and drag this to 10 minutes. There we are, just a bit more. There we are. Okay, this is now perfect. So I have 10 minute timer now. So if I click on it, I can change the shape of it once again. And what should I change the shape to? Mm, it could be any shape, really. I'm going to choose arc. But you can see arc, it's, it's not showing me fill, no fill, and it's not showing me the full arc. So what I have to do is do the right click, format shape, and in this case, you can see here, it says 125 points. I'm putting three start to 40, 40, there we are. And I'm going to change the color of the outline either here or up here to purple, purple looks nice. And I'm going to change the cap type to round. And I'm gonna hold on to shift and control and from here, I'm going to make sure that this is a full circle and double click on the letters, which I'm going to change to this sort of color. So now I have my one minute, five minutes and 10 minute animation. So now that I have my three timers, one, five and 10 minutes, um, how do I use this in my teaching? Well. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another slide. And on this slide, I'm going to call it teaching slide. Slide. So on here, I'm going to insert a shape which will serve as, I'm going to insert a little shape right there, double click, and I'm going to call it timer. So whenever I need timer on my teaching slide or I need children, uh, students or children to go back to it, um, what I can do is I'm going to click on this one to go to the timer. So how do I set the action? I select that and I go to insert action and I'm gonna hyperlink next to slide and I'm going to select slide three. That's the one with timers right there. And I'm gonna click OK. So instead of copying and pasting timers into slides, which you can do, you know, anytime you can just copy and paste the timer and resize it as you need to, to use it. You can also uh, insert this function here, the timer to take you to the slide that has timer. So let's try it. There we are. I click on it and there we are. I can choose any of the timers um, to start off. But once I'm here, how do I go back to the page I was teaching from? Well, on the timer slide, I'm going to insert another shape here. If you scroll down, you can see the one with the arrow pointing it says action button return. So I'm going to put that one here. There we are. So it's going to hyperlink to last slide viewed. Okay. And I'm going to change the color of that as well. 
There we are. Okay. Yeah, no, it's okay. So it doesn't matter how many teaching slides I have. So say I'm on this one here and I've written something while, or this is the slide I was teaching from. I'm in the slideshow mode and I press timer. I go to the timer, I use it the way I want to. But then when the timer finishes, I can just click on this button here, action button, to go back to the slide I was teaching from. So that way I don't have to keep on copying and pasting timers into, into, into each slide I want to use it from. And also, if you look at the timers like this, you've got one slide that you can move about whatever you want to have it on your set of PowerPoints. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested, you can also visit my Amazon shop where you can buy some um, handwriting books for children.